they've been good victories. And, um, you know, I think the, the performances is probably what we look, well, of course, we listen, we look at the wins, of course we do, but the, uh, the performances is, is probably what gets us most excited. And I thought our performance on the weekend against the Ospreys or Friday night against the Ospreys was probably our best of the, of the year in terms of the conditions we played in and, and the, the style of rugby we managed to play. So, yeah, that was pleasing. We're heading in the right direction, Stuart. Let's, let's leave it there. I think that's a real compliment, mate, to, to our group of coaches. We've got some tremendous young coaches here and, and, uh, and experienced coaches as well that, that just you know, give the players a belief that it's okay to try things because that's what we, we do every day at training. We, you know, we try and play a, a fast, relentless game of rugby and, and uh, it doesn't really matter what the conditions are giving you. If we stick to our key principles, we can still do that. So I love the fact that the boys have that confidence um, you know, that, that they're given that confidence. I love the fact that they back that and they go and back their skills. And I actually get incredibly amazed that their capacity to be able to play that style of rugby in the conditions because as a bloke who came from the Southern Hemisphere, we normally wouldn't get out of bed if it's raining, but uh, you wouldn't get out of bed if you lived up here. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, um, you know, every, every game is a challenge. URC is a great competition, but we're heading into a you know, that Europe's best competition. And, and that's and that's the great challenge for us now. It's one thing to do it uh, in, the, in the competition we're currently in, but it's another thing now to step up when it means so much to every team to try and get into that, uh, out of their own, out of their pools and to be playing in the, in the, in the quarterfinals and beyond. So uh, it is going to be a great challenge for us and one that we're looking forward. Oh, yeah. The, anyone that's in the Champions Cup is a, is a good rugby side. And I think, you know, you can you can fall into a very dangerous trap of thinking that uh, top fourteen um, form or any other form in, in other competitions. Um, you know, if, you, if you're resting on that, uh, you're probably going to get beat. So um, they may not have been playing their best rugby at the minute, but at the same time, you know they're going to step up because they're a proud club and they're playing you know Heineken Champions Cup rugby. So they're going to be very very tough to beat. Um, so we're going to have to be in our best game in order to do that. Yeah, listen, we, as, as you know, we, we faced them last year. Um, I think what Steve Borthwick's managed to do with that team in, 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 in not a long period of time is, is quite phenomenal. So they're sitting top of their, their, uh, the premiership there at the moment for a good reason. Um, very formidable side. And uh, as I said, we experienced them firsthand last year. We know the physicality and the power that they bring as well as their controlled game. So, um, yeah, we've got two big games to start, mate. Yeah, we do. And I think with every opposition, you know, there's an element of, of being adaptable. And that's that's one of the key phrases that we use in our in our own identity. We want to be fast, as I said, and as many ways we can do that. We want to be relentless. Many ways we can do that. And we need to be adaptable too. And there's many ways we can do that. So part of that is based upon a threat or a or a perceived weakness that we see with an opposition, but part of that is also condition-based. It could be referee based it could be whatever but there'll be an element of adaptation against uh, against both teams stud and and Leicester when we take them on um, I think most importantly though we've got to stick to what what we are our DNA uh, which we will do but there's always a you know five ten percent which which uh, we might just adjust slightly for an opposition I'm really pleased with the with the squad we've got Stuart I think you know we've been building that this is this is now into my fourth year here with the, with the, with the current program. Um, we've made some adjustments to our coaching staff. We had a great coaching staff before. We've made adjustments there. Um, I'm really excited by the, by the coaching group that we've currently got. And then as a playing group, you know, I feel like we've continued to build that, that squad. So we're, we've got 43 players contracted now. Um, we've got some young. We've got some youth. We've got, we've got experience. We've got flair. We've got strength. We've got power. We've got a, a good range across the board. So the key thing you know, for us is, like all squads, you want to remain healthy. Uh, and, and we've been we've been unfortunate in previous years where we, we may have copped or we have copped injuries in, in certain positions which have hurt us at the minute touch wood we're, we're in a pretty good shape so um, the key is to try and keep that for as long as possible uh, but I you know, have enormous belief and faith in this squad and I think on our day we can beat any team yeah that that, that is our goal that's our target to get out of the get out of the pool stages and get into the knockout stages of it so uh, we've got a lot of rugby ahead of us in order to do that, but um, we're all very clear on on what the target and what the goal is. And uh, we'll learn more um, on Sunday the 12th after we've played Stud to see how we sit with that. Yeah, I think I think Max just enjoying himself. And I think that's the key to anything. It's key to life. Like if you, 
if, if you believe that you're you're cared for and that you're you're in a in a good spot and you can you can you got the the license to be yourself um you can be pretty special and that's what we're seeing at the moment um with with mac and with jack in fairness um yeah, Jack Cardi continues to impress me with his skill set, but we've got a lot of blokes uh, who I think are, are playing their best their best rugby at the minute. So, yeah, that's a compliment to those individuals on the hard work that they put in because that, that just doesn't happen. But also, I think to the environment and the fact that you know we, we've got a lot of blokes who feel safe in this environment and, and they're able to express themselves. So, you know, that's something that um, we we work really hard to try and create is that is that environment of safety and. And then giving the blokes the platform to go and be their best. Uh, for 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 our players, I get really excited by their national call ups. So, you know, I think that's you know as, as as many years ago I was a young boy, but when I came through, we all want to. When you're playing the game, you want to play for your country. Um, so when our players get that honour to to go up and represent their country, um, you know, I think as a as a club and as a province, we take enormous pride in that. But personally, I take enormous pride in that for the individuals because I know how much it means to them. You know, so to have the likes of a, a Paul Boyle and a, and a Kalen Blade to get their first caps last year, um, we've had Lever for to come in this year and, and and head off and play for Tonga. Uh, we had Abraham Papali on the weekend just gone was selected for Samoa. So it's not just the Irish boys, you know, our, our, our Bundys and our Finlays and. Dave Heffernan's and Kieran Marmion's and you know, blokes who've previously been there, Jack Cardi's, great for them. But we've also got another group of players that are off playing for, for their countries of birth too, which is really important, really special.